the real polygon is about to be born our mission to build the real like infinitely scalable uh, you know web3 plus less internet as we, as i call it cdk plus ag layer cdk infinite scalability ag layer unified liquidity across the chains that is the end game of polygon hi i'm here with sandeep and anurag anurag so these are i guess co-founders of polygon originally but now anurag is doing avail and uh, sandeep has some great news uh, for us today about ag layer i guess right so let's pass around the mic already and uh, let's hear it from you sandeep what's new f with polygon cdk with ag layer what are you excited about what what should we look forward to in the next month you no know, so with the with polygon uh, i always say and i've been saying to a lot of people that the real polygon is about to be born like, till now we have done a lot of things but our mission to build the real like infinitely scalable uh, you know web3 trustless internet as we as i call it i say web2 is trustful internet web3 is trustless internet and we want to build a network which can scale to that levels and and i'm why i'm saying that polygon is getting born is that that architecture after years of research and building and you know interacting with the developers and everything we have finally found a place that okay this is the architecture which scales it to the to the scale of internet and that architecture is very simple you have polygon cdks you can launch hundreds or thousands of chains but then you have a lot of fragmentation for the users right but what you do is you aggregate them back in one single layer or one single security zone and uh, all of these chains for the end user feels like one single large chain right that's the simple idea of polygon and polygon ag layer cdk plus ag layer cdk infinite scalability ag layer unified liquidity across the chains and that's that's pretty much about it for polygon that that is the end game of polygon now we are at a stage where cdk is built out you guys know like you know after months of like you know hard times and all that is now approaching some level of maturity some level of stability plus we have the ag layer the the v0 uh, you know on ethereum very soon the v1 comes out and then you have like the full version of polygon in the market and then you know go we go from there cool nice yeah and indeed at gelato we currently have the latest release of cdk ag layer unified lxy in production with uh, astar uh, so so i guess we for, for two months already the ag layer, ag layer is in existence uh, so so it's really cool that it actually works so, and, and i have to give a big uh, shout out to the gelato team that you know this was basically a rushed like you know we would need we would have needed one month one month more to stabilize it but they like the a star team wanted to launch fast and you know it has been really tough um, tough one month of like you know calibrating a lot of things and this and that and gelato team has done a really good job in uh, you know kind of making sure that it's up and ready and you know up time and all that for the clients so uh, yeah all shout out to big shout out to you guys also for that Thank you very much and it's been a pleasure working with you absolutely and yeah I mean we had a super stable test and it was just like this new Aglaya release which is still a bit unstable but it's stabilizing I think the last weeks have been super solid and yeah super excited I think for for May when when the 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 production release will will yeah. be out the door cool hopefully so yeah uh, avail uh, is launching on mainnet I think May as well right so uh, what are you excited about what should we look forward to here and and how do you think you set yourself apart from from the other DA layers that are already on the market today yeah um, so yeah I'm pretty excited about uh, avail getting to mainnet we've been developing avail DA since 2020 uh, some people might not know but we started avail within polygon back in 2020 and we've been uh, we spun out of a polygon back uh, in March last year um, why we built a whale really is you know like uh, we understood that there was this uh, shift in blockchain architecture happening both at polygon as well and with a whale in the sense that uh, the era of monolithic blockchain architectures was going right like even if you see like uh, blockchains like solana even they are experiencing congestion like so i like with um, apps on the internet don't really lie, uh, live on one big supercomputer. I, we don't think in blockchain all apps will live in one chain. So it's necessarily going to be this single base layer, thousands and millions of rollups on top. 
So it's it's very similar to how the internet works in the sense that apps live on their separate servers but scale independently on demand. And so that is the roll-up centric paradigm that we are building Avail for. So Avail is really the the infrastructure that powers the future of blockchains really. And so that's how we are looking at it, for example. So first we of course start with uh, enabling these rollups to scale. And of course we work with Polygon and various other rollup stacks to enable this. Uh, but really the intent is to kind of enable this rollup centric uh, roadmap and essentially like if you kind of step back a little, why are we building all this infrastructure for, right? Like. All of this we are building in the service of building, uh, building truly scalable trust systems, right? Like blockchains are the evolution of building trust, uh, trust systems. And so Avail really is trying to build infrastructure for enabling that, uh, that route of trust uh, in, in that sense. Uh, so of course we are very excited for releasing Avail DM mainnet, but we have things like Avail Nexus, which is our uh, the the upgrade that we announced, which we are working for last year, this is a, a layer that focuses on interop or chain abstraction sort of a interface between rollups uh, that is coming up again, and pretty complementary to what uh, Aglier, which Polygon is doing. Cool, nice. So I think uh, people don't really realize this, but there's rollup technology is on the market, but this is a a pivotal moment I think with the new CDK. Aglayer release and Avail hitting the market in about May, like with stable releases. This is gonna like be a game changer again in this technology, like another strong move to ZK technology. Um, yeah, so I think one thing we really appreciate at Gelato, especially working with liquidity providers and so on, is the power of ZK technology. Um, basically, bringing settlement times down from you know seven days to thirty minutes. Um, I think a lot of the big unlocks in in ZK, when I talk to, for example, the team at Espresso and so on, they all seem to go towards this instant proving, right? How far out are we from that? Uh, how is Polygon, like I know you guys are building all the software, like ZK EVM software. Are you guys working also with hardware acceleration teams uh, and, and so on? Like how, you know, in, in two years from now, will proving time on CDK be like five minutes, instant? What can we expect here? On the on the hardware acceleration side, like you know, we started a lot of you know work uh, like in 2020, early 2023 only. And what we realized is that by the time hardware acceleration results came out and they built the built the you know hardware acceleration uh, you know scheme, system, by that time our software you know uh, acceleration you know went beyond what hardware acceleration was doing. And so we realized is even though we have like still one or two parallel projects on the hardware acceleration going on, what we realize is that there is a lot of software, uh, you know, enhancements and acceleration that you can do for now. And ZK technology is changing very, very, very fast. So there is no point in investing like long term, like hardware acceleration as of now especially with these ASICs and all that. It's like, you know, ASICs have a one-year cycle, right? So ASICs work on Bitcoin because, like, the Bitcoin, like, SHA-256 and all that have, has not changed for last, you know, 10 years. But with ZK, like, you know, in every six months, it, it, it is like a complete overhaul, right? So it doesn't make sense to go for ASICs, but maybe some works with FPGAs can be done. And that's what we are exploring right now because FPGAs are, like, a little bit little bit programmable, you know, hardware, uh, you know, kind of assets or acceleration, acceleration systems. So, so yeah, so like right now, like we, re we decided that, you know, we are not going to go fully deep into the hardware acceleration, but, you know, keep the software progressing at space. And when we think that, okay, now it's approaching kind of maturity levels, then go to the hardware acceleration side. Having said that, like about the proving times, I think, Proving times, we want to like, you know, our internal target is to is to go to like, let's say, proving times going to like 5 to 10 seconds, right? Like initially, I, we can't say like instant proving for, as of now. But right now, we think that we have a path from path, you know, I can't really say like 10 seconds or 30 seconds, but we have a path to definitely have a path to go to 30 seconds. But we can easily have a path to go to 10 seconds also. That's what we are thinking. But... Basically, you need this proving for composability, right? Interchain composability. And uh, 
you know, no matter how fast it is, it will still allow this asynchronous composability, right? And for synchronous composability, then you need this shared sequencing and all that, which we believe that, you know, there will be there'll be like thousands and thousands of these chains. There will be some clusters with shared sequencers where, you know, those clusters will have like, you know, a synchronous composability. But otherwise, like the large ecosystem, larger ecosystem will be like, as Anurag was saying that, you know, you have each application has its own servers and they can, you know, interact with each other with various different kinds of systems. But they will be asynchronous composability. For synchronous, you know, I, I think right now it looks like shared sequencing is the only way. Yeah, I think uh, Aglaya with its asynchronous uh, ZK settl cross-chain settlements is basically 90% of the way and then the extra 10% is maybe shared sequencing and then we have the, the, the absolute end game. So yeah, thank you very much Anurag and Sandeep. Uh, we're all looking forward to to use this technology once it's stable and hits the market very soon. Uh, decentralized data availability and Polygon CDK roll-up stack with ZK technology is, is gonna melt faces, so excited for that. Happy to be working with you guys. Have fun tonight. Thank you, everyone.